The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin, chapters 17, 18, and 19 vocabulary. Replace each of the underlined words with its antonym from the word bank so that each sentence makes sense. Write that word on the line to the right of the sentence. Each correctly replaced word is worth two points. Just to review. An antonym is a word that means the opposite. So antonyms have opposite meanings. All right, so for example, oops. For example, the, the words light and dark. The antonym of light is dark because it means the opposite. The words good and bad. The antonym of good is bad because it means the opposite. So we're just looking for words that have opposite meanings. While we're working on this, the first thing that you need to know is that we have a word bank and this word bank is going to be really helpful for you. There's lots of extra space so you can write things in this word bank if you want to. The words are burly, chronic, covetousness, cold, elude, grimaced, and penance. So before we move on, I just want you to know that there was an error in the first sentence. The sentence is, the detective entered information discarded from reports he had read. Originally, the underlined word was information. That's incorrect. The word that should have been underlined is discarded, so please underline the word discarded on your paper now if you have not already. All right. So, first things first, let's figure out what the word discarded means so we know what we're looking for. So we're going to go to our Merriam-Webster wordcentral.com dictionary. We're going to type in the word discarded. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, discarded. Discarded. Okay. There are two different meanings, and we're going to look at both and figure out which one is correct. The first one is to remove a playing card from one's hands. Now our sentence here doesn't say anything about playing cards or games, so that's probably not the right definition. The second one is to get rid of as useless or unwanted. That makes more sense given the context of the situation and the context of the sentence, so we're going to go ahead and use that as our definition. And I'm just going to make a note down here so that I can remember what it means to get rid of as useless or unwanted. Okay, let's go through the words in the word bank. The first one is burly. Burly means strongly and heavily built. Okay. To make a note of that. Burly is strongly and heavily built. Chronic. Means continuing or occurring again and again for a long time. So I'm going to just shorten this to occurring again and again for myself. Occurring again and again. Covetousness. All right. Covetousness means marked by too eager desire, especially for another's possessions. So the main entry is covetous. So if I'm having a hard time understanding what this means, I can always type in that word, covetous. Actually, it looks like it's going to come up with the same one. Okay, so covetous. 
marked by too eager desire, especially for another's possessions, meaning you want somebody else's stuff. So this is desire for another's possessions, like jealousy. Make a note down here, it's running out of room. Cold. To select from a group. Make a note here. All right. So as you can see, I'm kind of going through, I'm making notes about what each of these different words means. Um, I'm going to stop here actually, because it says discarded um, is the underlying word. And that means to get rid of as useless or unwanted. And the opposite of getting rid of something is to select it or choose it. So I'm going to say that this sentence would make more sense with the word cold. What I'm going to do. I'm going to write the word cold on the line. So the detective entered information cold from reports he had read. So information selected from reports he had read. That makes perfect sense. So this first one is correct, and then I would go through each of these other sentences. So I'm just going to read them out loud to you. The second one is the case remained open. The case remained unsolved as the missing clue continued to approach the detective. The frail male nurse lifted the heavy patient without any assistance. The frightened man smiled as the dentist began to drill. Tom's reward for lying was painting the fence. Years of occasional gambling had caused the woman to lose her job and family. Good luck. <laughs> 